Today is the last day of campaigning for the first phase of polling in Manipur to be held on the 28th of February. In 2017, the Congress had emerged as the single largest party in Manipur with 28 seats of the total 60, falling short of the magic number of 31. But it was the BJP that formed the government by cobbling up the numbers. In an exclusive interview to NDTV's Ratnadeep Chaudhary, the leader of the opposition and three-time Manipur Chief Minister, Okrami Bobi Singh, has said this time, even before the polls, Congress is busy working out an understanding with other parties on gathering numbers, should they emerge as the single largest. In fact, it's banking on BJP rebels. You are spearheading Congress's campaign in Manipur. We have seen that, you know, you are traveling across the state, campaigning for your party. Now, we did see you campaign the same way in the last elections. Uh, and Cong Congress, uh, you know, emerged as the single largest party. But you could not form the government. What led to that situation in 2017? And how do you see the prospects of your party this time? That is, in the last election 2017, that is most unfortunate. Even though uh, Congress party has got single largest party, but in collusion with this you know, BJP people, including central leader, few of central union ministers, they are sitting at Raj Bhavan. They then, with all due regard, they then governor, then they allowed us. You are hopeful that uh, you know there won't be much defections this time, but in the last five years. About 16 of your MLAs have shifted to BJP. Um, about 10, 11 of them are contesting in BJP ticket. Now, this time is perhaps uh, for the first time Congress could not put up candidates in all the seats. You have left about five to six seats. Uh, at, you know, at the face of it, it looks like Congress is at its weakest in in in, uh, in Manipur. Uh, do you see that there is a scope through this election for a Congress revival as well? No, definitely we hope that you know, Congress will definitely revive. And also, this uh, we know the pulses of the people of Manipur. Uh, we will definitely get an you know, absolute majority. In the event of there is a shortage of few number, postponed alliance, we are trying to contact other like-minded parties. So definitely this time we will form the government. So are you hinting uh, that there can be a hung assembly and therefore you have already started communication with other parties for postful alliance? Uh, yes, there is an understanding is there. In the event of hmm. our party has few number shortages is there for magic number. We have already started work out that plan also, postponed plan also. Definitely this time I have full confidence that we will form the government. Talking about you know, the uh, main <clears throat> promises that Congress made in the uh, you know, manifesto, the Congress is saying that if voted to power, you will repeal ASPA. Uh, BJP is silent on ASPA. Uh, your other political parties here have made ASPA an issue. So why not? I don't know. BJP has claimed, including Honorable Prime Minister and the Home Minister Amit Shahji also claimed that there is no bun and blockade and there is uh, law and order improving like anything. Why they are extending further this disturbed area? But the Chief Minister keeps on saying that he wants ASFA to go, but he would convince centre. Uh, but uh, it seems that the central leadership is completely silent. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> this is, you know, I don't know whether the present CM couldn't convince the center, including Prime Minister and Home Minister.